Hey, welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've put out about the Facebook Creator Studio, I did one several years ago. It's gotten quite a bit of views, a lot of questions, and they've done a lot of updates to that tool since then, so that warranted another video. Welcome. My name is Sean. I run a company called Blue Cow Marketing, and I create this channel to give you some insights, some tools, some walkthroughs of some great assets online. Today, we're going to be looking at Facebook Creator Studio. So the first thing um, that has changed from before is you need to have a Facebook business account, uh, not just a business page. You just need to go to business.facebook.com. It is completely free and you can connect your account there and you end up with this Facebook business suite. So here we are in the Facebook business suite for our Blue Cow Marketing account. What we're going to be focusing on is on the left hand side here, this icon that says planner. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, keeping in mind that I don't use this planner in my business, so as you see, there's not content populated in it. We have another agency tool that we use to schedule our content. But within the planner, once you come into here, you're basically getting a calendar view. So you can see at the top that the default is a week view, so from Sunday to Saturday here. And uh, we're recording this a week leading into Christmas. So, uh, you know, if you see this before that, happy holidays. If you saw it after, well, I hope you had a great holiday. Now in here, if you had your content scheduled, we're gonna schedule a couple of them here in this video, you would see them in, in these boxes and you could look at them and reschedule them and drag and drop them. But there's two real points of creation in here. When you mouse over any one of these, at the very bottom, you're gonna see this schedule um, button, so to speak, that pops up and you click on the little arrow and you can do several things. Now, if you have an Instagram account and it's connected to your business page, then you're gonna see the Instagram stuff in here as well. So you can schedule a post, you can schedule a story, which is awesome because there are other tools out there that don't allow you to schedule stories, but this one being natively to Facebook allows you to do that. And if you have a Facebook ads account, you can also schedule an ad. Pretty cool, huh? Now on the top right hand side, you got a very similar drop down option, same options that are here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click the big blue create button there and let's get the magic happening. Now this is gonna pop up in a little model box and you can start on the left hand side. Placements, that's where it's gonna go. Like I mentioned, if you've got your Instagram account connected like we do, you're gonna see that option here as well. So you can schedule to either your Facebook, your Instagram or both, and just by checking those boxes that are there. Then down below, you can put in text, so whatever you wanna say. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do Facebook because I don't have an image that I wanna to upload to this right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in text here. This is a sample post. So actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna show you the, it's gonna go into my Canva. Actually, no, I think I already have one downloaded here. Let me just go look here. I'm gonna add a photo. Sorry about this. We don't, you know, we don't really try to script out all this stuff, but we're gonna go and find something here. So our podcast, content application, let's use that. So I'm gonna add that image in there and let's throw an Instagram as well. So it's gonna upload that image. Now, let's actually make a real post here. So um, have you subscribed to our podcast? yet if not we have some really smart marketers coming up in 2022 then we'll put a put a line we'll put subscribe and listen at i'm going to put in the link here This video is not a promotion for this, just so you know, but it was a piece of content that I could put in here. And you know, Murphy's Law, anytime you are trying to type in a video, uh, your typing is horrible, as you probably just saw. So in the box here, on the top right hand side, you're gonna notice two little icons. You got one that looks like a hashtag or a number sign or whatever, if you're older, you know, could be the pound sign. This would allow you to click on this and actually see what are some trending hashtags that are going on out there right now. And these are pulling and trending as of today, okay? So maybe this is National Horse Day and that's why that's trending. So you can usually either pull off some of those, um, you know, and a little content idea would be that you could come in here and just hit that and see what's trending if you're not in the know, and maybe you can create a, a piece of content for that. 
Um, you can look at recent ones. Now, again, we haven't scheduled here, or we can use saved ones as well. So we're just going to go ahead and put in a couple hashtags here, podcast, um, small business, and mark. Now you notice, as I'm typing it in, they come up here as suggestions, right? So I could choose from that. You know, there's marketing, 37 million posts with that, so you can kind of get an idea for that. And as you go through this, when you did this, you would see recent ones showing up here, and if you saved any, they would show up there as well save you some time. These are some functions of other tools that are out there that are fantastic. So media, we've uploaded the image. Now over here, we could click the edit button and you could come in here and actually add some filters, right? So you can go in here and change some of the, the functions of it if you wanted to. If you, let's say you've had a photo, you can you know, do vintage, black and whites, all that kind of stuff. You can do some basic cropping as well. So if you needed the vertical, horizontal or square formats, um, you can also tag people in here. So you got some functions for this uh, and you, it, you can split between Facebook and Instagram and you can do the tagging separately for that. Okay, so we're not gonna actually edit that photo. Um, if you need to delete it and redo it, you could do that right there and there's that tagging button again. And as you go down, you could click on location. You want to put a location in for that, but we're not gonna do that. Now over here, you're gonna see, cause I chose both here. This was the text I put in. You have the option to adjust the text for Instagram or for Facebook. So we know that we can't put the link in, uh, you know, it's not gonna actually be a link. I don't mind having the text in there. It's a pretty easy URL. People can, could actually type that in and find it uh, from that. But if you wanted to change up your, your text for uh, Instagram differently than Facebook, you can do that right there, okay? So once you do that, you're seeing your different previews that are here. If you're doing Facebook, you could come down here um, and you could turn, what's it say? Use this feature, please room any media um, you've added to your post. Okay, so get messages. Um, it doesn't allow us to do that at the moment. Then lastly here shows the link that's in here. So we can see all that. Um, and I think it's if I took the link out of here, it would allow me to do that and just have it message me uh, through Facebook Messenger. And then you can add a feeling or activity if you want. Now, if we're ready to go, we could go ahead here and click publish, which means it would queue up and it would fire out almost immediately. But what we could do is we could drop this up or drop it down, whatever you want to say, uh, click schedule post, or you can save it as a draft to come back to it later. You'll notice there's a button here next to the publish called optimal times. So we pop on this and what it's going to do is you're going to pick the date here if you want to manually do that, or it's going to give you some optimal times. And this is based on your followers and when they were most active on Instagram and Facebook in the last seven days. So it's starting to use machine learning to figure out what's the best time for you to post. So you don't have to think, okay, I'm going to do it at four o'clock, five o'clock. It's going to tell you the optimal times for this platform are, let's say tomorrow or you know, we'll do tomorrow there. And then Instagram, um, we could do Thursday. So you can pick different times for each. Now I'm going to click save and we see that the button changes to schedule post. We're going to go ahead and click schedule, let it do its thing. And as you see here, there they showed up in the feed under here. So when seven o'clock tomorrow hits and Thursday at five o'clock hits, these are going to schedule out. Now you can go here and you can click on them and bring them up to preview them. And you can click these three dots and you could go here and click edit and go back into the edit screen and make some changes. You could duplicate it if you wanted to do a variation on that. You can reschedule it, which will give you the option to pick a different date and time using the calendar option or even the, the optimal times, or you can delete the post if you wanted to do so. Maybe there's something in the future that you're like, okay, I'll schedule that for tomorrow, but it needs to go out now. You could go into that and you could click publish now and it'll actually pull it back and publish it to that right time um, right there and then. You have the option to drag and drop these, so you can drag them into like the other day, right? So in here it's gonna say reschedule, and then it will pop up and say, okay, that's the date and time I wanna reschedule it. But I'm gonna keep that one there for now. So you've got your week view, you've got your month view here, so you can see a lot of the content that is you know, scheduled to go out. Now, what we're gonna see here is if we click on these, these are like recommendations. So let me just close this out. I don't have stuff scheduled at these date and times here, aside from the two that we just put out. You know, these are ones that came out from other systems that we were scheduling uh, and they'll still show up in there. So even if you manually put stuff on your Facebook page or your Instagram account, it will still show up here as posts that are already gone out. 
But these ones here that show up that you haven't done, that have the little star next to them, these are based on the recommendations, okay? So in here, you can go up and you can say, okay, it's recommending I do one tomorrow at this time, I can go and do that, and then I can start to build the post based off that. And these suggested times, like I said, are going to fluctuate week over week based on when your followers are online. The more active you are, the more engaged, these are gonna get honed in uh, even better and better, okay? So that is the scheduling side here under Planner. One of the other things that you will want to know and take note of is your inbox. When you click on your inbox, when you have your accounts connected, this is where you're going to see um, all your messages, your messenger, your Instagram direct, Facebook comments, Instagram comments, and a chat plugin if you have it in place. Here below that you have posts and stories. So this is gonna show you all of the different posts that have gone out, the stats on them, um, you know, any engagement that you've had and you can look back and see that. So you got your published, you got your schedule that are coming up. Those are the two we just created and any drafts. Below post, you have stories. So if you wanted to create a, a story, you can come in here and say create story. We can do again, one of the other or both. I'm just gonna do Facebook for now. And I'm gonna say add media and we're gonna see how this works with, um, you know, not vertical content. Let's see how it actually handles it. It's probably gonna to offer to crop it, but we'll see. Let's wait for the preview to load. So yeah, so it's gonna do it like this, which is fine, okay, uh, in this case. Uh, and then we come down and then we can add some text to it. So um, we're gonna go add text here and we're gonna type in, have you subscribed yet? And we're gonna just rearrange and put this right up here. And let's do, rotate a little bit. Let's find a different font we like. Now, the one thing I think they could improve is, you know, I mean, there's not too many here, but you could um, increase the actual um, ability to see if they um, see the font. That's what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, now, I'm, I was looking for something kind of scripty, but I don't think I'm going to have that option. And we're going to go stickers, and we got all the cool stickers here. So let's go here and see what we can get for a sticker that might... Here, let me give that thumbs up. Where was that? I'm gonna throw that old thumbs up on here. Right, I mean, you can do probably better than I did with this just briefly. And swipe up link. So your story will not include the, the changes you made using the creative tool unless you save the changes, okay? So I'm gonna click save. Now, this is if you had a story and you said swipe up, um, what do you want it to do? Okay, so I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go swipe up link, and we can put in the website. So now I can go HTTPS, www slash amplify. So now if somebody um, was to swipe up now, I do see here it says you need at least 10,000 followers on Instagram to use the swipe up feature on there, okay? But on Facebook, it allows you to do it without that, um, which is awesome, okay? So now we can share that story right now. So I'm gonna go share. And it will schedule it up here, it's being published. And then it's gonna go out here for the, again, the 24 hour period. Lastly, before we finish this video off, you've got your feed and grid here. So you can go into your, your page and you can see your feed, um, what it looks like on Facebook and Instagram and then click on grid because people love the, you know, to see their grid and you can see what it would look like. Now I haven't taken a lot of time to really, um, you know, plan out my grid. Some people like to have photo, text, photo and have this nice looking grid. Frankly, I don't give a crap. You know what, it's, it's all about the content that's going out there. I don't care if it looks good in a grid format. Uh, it doesn't matter to me personally, but for you it might. Um, but I think it's just getting in the weeds. So yeah, so that's how you can see that. And you got your Facebook photos here, which show you all the different photos and the albums that you have. And then any mentions or tags that you have, probably nothing, well, there's a couple things going up here. Um, so these are all the mentions and tags that have happened with you over the time. Uh, so you can come in here, you can click on it. You can actually see here, so we had helped with an event here and we were tagged in this. Um, we could promote it, we could say view on Facebook or we can copy that link. So let's say we're gonna copy that link and let's just see what else they'll give us here. No, it won't let us do that. So we're gonna copy the link to that post. 
And then we could come back here, we can say, let's create a new post. And we're gonna go pop that link in here. Let's just see, I don't know if it's gonna queue it up. It might. Let's just see what happens here. Um, It doesn't seem to want to actually show us the preview in the desktop here. Let's just see if, if it flips over. Oh, I kind of hoped it would have. Um, you know, Facebook, too bad you did that. Um, it would have been awesome. I think one great enhancement would be to be able to come over here and see your mentions and be able to like make a post off of that content very easily. That would be a really cool feature. Uh, it might be there by the time you watch this video. I don't know, but at the time of doing this, it is not there. So my synopsis in all this is I've used a lot of different tools, um, scheduling tools, not only for our business, but for clients' businesses. And when I did my first video about two years ago, um, Creator Studio was very archaic. It did scheduling, you know, it did what it was supposed to do, but it didn't really replace other tools that are out there. And after reviewing this and seeing it in action and what it can do, I think it rivals a lot of the scheduling tools that are out there. If, the caveat here, is if you are only scheduling to Instagram and Facebook. If you wanna get into Twitter and LinkedIn, you're gonna to have to use another tool. And what I would recommend is you find a tool that could do all of that, so you don't have to run two separate tools uh, for it. But if you just wanna handle the Instagram and or the Facebook or both, this is a very viable and free option for you that I think is going to give you a lot of flexibility moving forward. So that's my look at Facebook Creator Studio. I thank you so much for watching this. And if you like this video, please give us a, a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have a question, subscribe to our channel. Uh, just love to get our subscribers up and we are doing more and more helpful content like this and diving in even deeper to different tools uh, as we move forward. So again, thank you so much for being part of our channel and have a great day.